Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So uh, we have broken through a level that we were watching yesterday. Um, a bit of a hidden shoulders here. Let me just get get that in. It's not uh, clear as mud, not quite clear as daylight, but anyway, that is um, a probability, and that would be the move. Uh, the situation that you have, though, is we are testing this bit of structure here. And if I move to the left, you can see there's been quite a bit of interaction at that level in the past. So that's the situation we find ourselves in at the moment. Trend is still up for on the 8th hour. Oscillators group to the downside. Uh, and this does look like a bit of an exhaustion bar onto structure. So um, weary... Be, be wary when you see this, because as we scroll down through the time frames, you're going to see what I mean. So firstly, on the three hour, we had a three hour tweezer the bottom on structure, fairly decent. We had a, a, a dip above it. So I'm just going to put a level in up there. Uh, so we just see what uh, happened. More than likely, there were trades that were triggered um, above that tweezer the bottom. And uh, the bears took the opportunity to chase those shorts. There have probably been a huge amount of people that were were long just above that structure. Uh, problem is, you can see we've got a crossover here. So crossover, oscillators group the downside. We do have another pin bar of structure. And we need to watch that on the lower time frames as well. Now, looking at the hour thing there from yesterday, uh, that pin bar is not perfect on the hour. It's uh, kind of a range bar that closed below, so not really going to pay attention to that. There's diversions on the hour. Um, we have swung quite low from the moving averages, so trend is down. You should be looking to short. No two ways about that. Let's put the levels in. So uh, first level to be shorting off would be 33,500, and this is a kind of a micro level at 33,381. Uh, but bear in mind that this area here at triple uh, three, or should we say double three, double three two, um, is a weekly level as well. So be careful. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be trying to jump in short right here at this level. It's just going to frustrate you immensely. So um, could could work out, but not really going to play attention to that okay so just uh, back to this level here on the 15 minutes there probably were people up here you can see we had a 15 minute close above it so we probably had a number of people jump in here with stops right here and uh, that probably what to trigger that but anyway um price action is really crazy at the moment it is big ups big down confusion all over the place gaps you know, you see gapping down uh, you know, the DAX was gapping up, and there's gaps there, gaps here. I, I'm really cautious, but uh, the trend is down, so, you know, you need to go with the trend. And this would, I'm not really interested in this level. I think this is the one that you want to be paying attention to. So it's 33,500. A retest 33,500 gets you moving all the way back down here to double three, double three, two. Um, that's the trade. If it dips below this at the moment, which is possible, um, I wouldn't be wanting to chase it, to be honest. Definitely wouldn't want to be chasing it. Uh, so on the lower time frame, the trend is short, but you want to be short higher up rather than trying to jump in down here because all that's going to happen is it'll find structure somewhere to start swinging high, and then it's going to look to reject higher and then move down. So I'm not going to try to second guess where the bottom is. I'm not going to second guess where, you know, where the top is, but you really need to just pay attention to the levels. Get the levels, oscillators line up, everything lines up, that's your short opportunity. So one of these areas, the upside, is what you're looking for. And I think 33,500 is the call. Uh, could go a bit higher, but I don't think so, not unless there's a big catalyst. And that would be 33,595 or even 33,600. I think uh, there's no... No real catalyst apart from earnings at the moment that's going to drive us. Anyway, that's kind of my view for the day. I hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers for now.